Hi everyone and welcome to Back in Time Fiction, my little channel dedicated to historical fiction and historical fantasy. Today a review of The Evening and the Morning by Ken Follett. If you are watching this video, you are probably tempted to read the latest of Ken Follett's novel, The Evening and the Morning, and judging by his popularity, well, it makes sense. Maybe you've read some of his books, or maybe you've even watched some of the TV shows that came out of his books, like The Pillars of the Earth or World Without End. Plus, this one is also set to be made into a TV show, and if you are like me, you want to read the book before the TV show is made. Whatever the case, you are absolutely right to be tempted by the evening and the morning, but you are also right to check beforehand. First, this book is massive, going at a whooping 800 something pages. If you are going to start it, you might as well know what you are getting into. Second, as with any historical fictions, many things can go wrong, from a historical accuracy to a extreme attention to detail, and of course, the threat of a novel turning into a history manual. So, is the evening and the morning worth your time and money? Let me start by saying that I am not some kind of hardcore fan of Ken Follett. Obviously, he's a very talented writer, his world-building skills are amazing, as well as the depth in which he can pull the reader. This being said, I had troubles with The Pillars of the Earth, the novel. Back when I read this book, I think it took me about 100 pages to really get into it. I couldn't connect with the characters and the story was a bit slow before it became very interesting. Then of course I got into this amazing novel and I read it with passion until the last page. But I must admit, this tough beginning didn't help me appreciate Ken Follett's writing. Ten years later, Ken Follett wrote The Evening and the Morning, a story set in a time and place I love to read about, the Dark Ages, and more specifically, the Viking Age, so I told myself, hey, I, I should give it a shot. Spoiler alert, it was absolutely awesome. I read the whole book in about three days. I gave it some of my sleeping time, eating time, family time. Well done, Ken. You did something amazing here. So, should you read the book? Yes, absolutely, yes. But I have a few warnings for you and I owe you an explanation why I believe this novel to be one of the best I've read over the last few years. The evening and the morning is set at the very end of the first millennia in England. The south of the country is plagued with Viking raiders and this is actually how the story starts, with a good bloody raid. No slow start here, the novel picks up after a few pages. The geography of the story will feel familiar to those who have read any of the Kingsbridge series, but it's not the only thing. The characters, while being different, have a very familiar feeling too. In this novel, we follow the many difficulties of a young man, the talented son of a boat builder, who tries to survive the raid of his village and the end of his family's business. The second character we meet is the daughter of a noble from Normandy, who is just of age to get married, but who has a little bit too much personality for most suitors. As fate would have it, she falls in love, and this love will bring her very little happiness and many, many complications. Finally, the last of the three characters driving the story is a monk with a good heart, a strong devotion to his religion, and a desire to build a center of knowledge for people who aspire to it. This formula of characters, though not being new, works extremely well, and while the monk tends to be a bit left on the sides at times, we never see too much or too little of each of them. And as usual with Ken Follett, those bad guys are absolute villains. I mean it in a good way, they are hateful. I absolutely hate those guys, there is no sympathy for them. No grey zone as far as bad guys are concerned here. Most of the secondary characters, they fall somewhere in that grey area, between wanting to do good and having to behave badly, but the real bad guys, they are simply mean as hell. On the writing side, no surprise here, Ken Follett gave us something extremely solid. The story as well is fantastic. I will give no spoiler here, but I felt a perfect balance between slow-growing process and life-changing events. And finally, on the history side. I am obviously biased, seeing that this is my favorite setting in terms of time period, but it also felt a lot more natural than the pillars of the earth, less forced in a way. Ken Follett obviously made a ton of research, but it never shows too much. However, I need to warn you, this book is brutal, and I don't mean this in a visual sense. There are not many battle scenes in the evening and the morning, and they are rather short, but psychological brutality, there is plenty of it, especially for female characters. It can be a bit hard to read sometimes, 
they go through a lot of terrible experiences. So if you are a little bit fragile emotionally, please be careful about some scenes. So let's recap. Great engaging story, superb characters, from central characters that are very easy to connect with to villains that are very easy to hate. The historical side feels natural without being overwhelming. And finally, it is really adult-oriented. So yes, I do recommend you to read it. Let me know in the comments if you've read this book and what you thought of it. Do you agree with my points and did I forget something big maybe? And in any case, thank you very much for watching this video. If like me you love historical fiction and historical fantasy, please subscribe to this channel and share this video. And if you are a writer or if you are working into this industry and you want your book to be reviewed or even maybe an interview with me, feel free to contact me. I will leave some of my contact details in the description. I will be back very soon for more content on the very best genre of literature. Until then, you know, grab a book and enjoy. See ya!